casual Warcraft. Uh, it's back to the dungeon vid things I was talking about. Just gonna do a quick run through of RFC, just you know, for shits and giggles, because I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done the dungeon in a while, and I figured, you know what, it can't hurt. This this is for new players and casual players, so you know what, why not let's help out some new people here and see what we can do. Uh, hopefully, this isn't gonna run too long. I've got 11 minutes, but. I'm going to see what I can do about editing some of this out, like this intro part probably, maybe, who knows. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, it is what it is and all that jazz, so. But welcome to RFC. Uh, it's, you know, it's changed quite a bit over the years. This is the newest version of it. I did some wandering around, some checking things out, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward now. It used to be a, uh, it used to be a lot more work, I think, in reality, but... I mean, I mean, even level appropriate now, considering most people have BOAs, it's pretty fairly simple dungeon. Uh, you know, this stuff here, this is a little lava here going on. You want to watch out for this stuff if you're level appropriate. It does burn. You know, it it it, it probably tear you up pretty good. I mean, obviously, I'm on my 87 mage, so it really didn't hurt. But, yeah, you can see it definitely, it does ding you for some damage. It could, you know, level appropriate tear you up pretty bad. Uh... You know, this is just all trash packs for the most part. There's a lot of trash in this dungeon. You know, if you're doing a full clear for experience, then yeah, you're probably going to want to full clear it. Um, so like I said, it's not a big deal. You just go through, kill the trash. Bosses are pretty easy. There's no major mechanics you got to look out for. You know, there's nothing really too difficult about it, but like I said, I wanted to cover it just so I can do all the dungeons right from the beginning all the way to the very end. So... Being that as it be that as it may, and being that as it is, this is the first boss, not this guy, the big greenest looking dog walking around over there. He's your first boss in this dungeon. He's not real difficult. Um, our mag, I think, is his name. Can't really read it from here on my screen, but yeah, pretty much run in, kill him. Moving right along from the first boss, this is one of the quest objectives in here for guys doing the quests. You got to save these, uh, you know, peons. I, I don't know how he was hiding under a flaming hot boulder, but apparently that's what he does. So, yeah, make sure to save those guys, get your quests done. Don't rush through too fast tanks either, you know, I mean, you gotta let guys do their quests. If you're not, you know, if people aren't doing their quests, why the hell are they in here, really? The quests are a lot of experience and ease when they're level appropriate. You know, you might as well get them done and do them. They're not that difficult, it doesn't take that long. You notice these guys here drop stuff, quest items and whatnot, too. Uh, this guy's kind of a little hidden here, kind of a little bit of a trick to find, but he is another one for the Saving the Peons quest, and, uh, pretty easy to get once you know where he is, but, you know, watch out for him. If you don't have nameplates on or something like that, you might not even see him, honestly, so, yeah. Anyways, a whole bunch more trash packs going on, some greens dropping here. Decent stuff, you know, if you don't have looms or whatever. It's not bad for level appropriate. You know, I remember when we used to run this at level 10 back, you know, during, uh, wow, BC, Lich King, Vanilla even. But uh, this is another boss here. Um, he's a pretty straightforward kill. He's a little magic user, so he's probably got a couple other abilities, but nothing you really have to watch out for. Like I said, at level appropriate, it's not that difficult of a dungeon. It's pretty much a run-in, tank and spank and go kind of thing. So... Another peon over here you can miss really carefully if you're not looking for him. But free him up and then move right along. Down this hill here you come to some more trash packs and the next to last boss. Yes, there are four bosses in this dungeon. So wipe these guys out. There's some on each platform. Not too difficult to get, you know. So this can get out of hand if your tank's not waiting up or, you know, somebody's rushing ahead not paying attention. You can pull a whole bunch of these by accident and really make the group's life difficult. I've seen it done. Notice there's another peon hanging on the ledge over there. You know, make sure you get him. This boss here does have a couple of different things he does. He moves around a little bit. Um, I'm going to run around. I'm going to talk about him while I run around some of these other trash bags here. But he will move around from one side of the platform to another. And uh, just mainly try to confuse you when he does that. Just, you know, make sure you're paying attention. Switch sides with him. Make sure you take care of him. You know, it's not it's not that difficult to do. And it's a pretty straightforward fight. But once again, it's another one that if you don't clear all the trash packs or you got people that aren't pay attention, paying attention really well, you can pull the trash packs in or you can really make this a difficult fight unintentionally. So I said I one shot at him. It's an, I'm, an, I'm an 87 mage. It's it's easy to do. <laughs> so as you can tell in this, I did I did full clear everything, but you don't have to. It's good for the experience. But if you're just running it, you know, trying to get it out of it, get it out of the way, 
you don't have to full clear all of this. In fact, this side over here, you don't even have to touch. It's the other side that you have to do. Just so you can get to the last boss in the instance, who's, again, not very difficult, but you know, he can be tricky if you're not careful. And we find ourselves at the last boss. Yes, this guy comes in and does kill everything off. I honestly don't know if this guy's got any cool abilities. I haven't, you know, played around with him much at level appropriate, so I just kind of came in and knocked him out. But this is why we have things like the Dungeon Journal and all that, so you can look this stuff up. If you miss any of the peons, there are three here you can save. Um, they should count for the whole group, I believe, when you do the quest. I'm not sure, but I do believe they do. So just go ahead and make sure everybody's got them. Turn in your quests and pretty much call it a day. And that's RFC in a nutshell. It's a really simple, really quick, really easy dungeon. And uh, you'll play it, you'll run it a lot um, when you're first starting out. You'll run it a lot. So uh, yeah, just uh, have fun with it, enjoy it. And hopefully this helps somebody, I don't know. If not, well, it's here for posterity anyways, I guess. Anyways, that's all I got this time around, guys. Have fun and uh, we'll see you in game.